Now let's learn the third way of inserting a new node in a linked list. That is through the tail. Uh, it's a very simple concept. There are only two possibilities. First, if the linked list is empty, which basically means currently head is equal to none, right? In this case, what you do is, let's say if this is your new node, let's call this new, what you do is you simply assign head to be equal to new. That's it. Okay. The second possibility is that the linked list is not empty. So let's say this is the linked list. Now in this, this case, what you have to do is you have to traverse through the linked list and you have to reach the tail. Okay. And you have to just write one line of code that you have to make the next pointer of tail, which is currently null you would actually do this tail dot next will become new and that's the logic okay let's see this in a code now let's write the code to insert a new node at the tail so i'm going to create a new method i'm going to call it insert underscore end and this will receive a new value the value to be inserted uh, as a new node so the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a new node using the node class. I'll pass the value parameter, right? And now, as we have discussed, there are two possibilities. The first possibility is that our linked list is empty. Okay. So we can detect that using this simple piece of code. We can write if self dot head is none. This means that our linked list is empty. And in that case, you'll simply do this. You'll put self dot head to be equal to new node, right? The second case, if the linked list is not empty, in this case, what you have to do is you have to run a loop. You have to reach to the tail and then you have to do whatever we discussed. Okay. So let's create a temporary variable by the name of tail so that, you know, uh, just to enhance the readability, you can just read it out and you can understand, okay, this variable is going to store the value of tail. So tail will be equal to initially head. Okay. And then we'll write a loop while tail dot next is not none. Now you might ask, why are we writing tail dot next is not none? When we did traversal, we wrote this piece of code while temp is not none. See, the reason is this because while traversal, we wanted to print every node of the linked list. But over here, let's say, let's take an example. If we have, let's say three nodes. Okay. So, uh, the first time when the loop will execute first time, uh, tail will have a value of, uh, self dot head. Uh, which, which basically is the first node. The second time around, when we uh, will write this code, tail is equal to tail dot next because we want to increment the value. So this, when the second uh, iteration will go, uh, the tail will contain the second node. And just think, uh, when the third iteration will go, the tail will have, uh, you know, the third, the last item, which is tail, and you'll not be inside the loop because we have written this condition tail dot next is not none because if we are on the last node this condition will be false and will not get inside this loop and will not increment it uh, one more time because if we'll increment one more time now the value of tail will become none but what we want is we want to keep the value of tail to be equal to tail and that is why this time around we are going to loop one uh, Basically, we are going to loop through the entire list, but one less than the previous uh, traversal case. Okay. So um, now that we have traversed through the loop and now the tail is holding the value of actual tail of the linked list, we'll simply write tail dot next to be equal to new node. Okay. Uh, I hope I have made myself clear. This is the code. You'll first start with the head. 
then you will write this condition while tail dot next is not none and you will increment the tail pointer and eventually when we are able to fetch out the tail we will simply write tail dot next is equal to the new node okay and since the new nodes uh, next pointer is already pointing to none uh, we are done with our task let's run this code uh, created an object inserted a few nodes so this is the linked list right now if I run ll dot insert end let's say I'm inserting 500 and if I write ll dot traverse see we are able to insert a new node at the end okay uh, let's handle one more case uh, we are creating one more uh, linked list object and this will be equal to linked list ll1 dot insert end let's insert 500 and now if I write ll1 dot traverse we should be getting this so I hope the concept is clear um, in the next video we are going to discuss delete operation so thanks for watching